Okay, this is number five from the 2019 Calc AB exam. Um, and it's kind of like the area volume type problem. So uh, non-calculator, and this is what we're given. We're given that g of x is negative two plus three cosine of pi over two x. h of x is six minus two quantity x minus one squared. Um, and we're given a picture of the region and we're told the region goes from uh, basically zero to two. And the first question is we want to find the area of R. So we do need to figure out which function's on top and which is on the bottom. Um, H of X is a quadratic that opens down. So H of X must be the top curve, um, which is how I basically figured that out. Uh, you can also look at the Y intercepts, like the Y intercept of H of X would have to be four. And so there's a lot of evidence that H of X is on top. So to find the area of this thing, I want to do uh, the integral from zero to two of the top curve, which is h of x, minus the bottom curve, which is g of x, and throw in a dx. And now we actually have to do this integral. So uh, the integral from 0 to 2, just going to replace h of x with what we have. So 6 minus 2, the quantity x minus 1 squared, minus replace g of x with what we have. Um, and then you kind of want to be careful with that negative, so distribute correctly. Uh, I'm going to collect like terms, which is really just six and minus negative two. So that's gonna give me eight. So zero to two of, so I get eight, and then minus two of this thing, and then distribute the negative. So we have minus three cosine pi over two x. Okay, um, now we're gonna integrate piece by piece. So um, the antiderivative of eight is gonna be eight x. The antiderivative of negative two quantity x minus one squared uh, this is like a perfect u substitution. We don't have to balance anything out. So it's just reversing the power rule. So it's negative two thirds quantity x minus one to the third. Um, now we have to integrate uh, this thing. So I'm just gonna start with negative three. Uh, that's a constant multiple. There should be a pi over two by the chain rule. So to reverse that, I'm gonna multiply by two over pi. The integral or antiderivative of cosine is sine. So we get sine of pi over two x. And uh, then we're gonna fundamental theorem this from zero to two. So first we're gonna plug in two. So that gives me 16. And then when I plug two into this, two minus one is one, one cubed is one. So we just get minus two thirds. And then I'm gonna write minus six over pi and just, I'm gonna, gonna write the sine of pi for now. I actually know the sine of pi is zero, so that's gonna be nice. Uh, and then minus, we gotta substitute zero. So a times zero is zero. When you plug in zero to this next term, we get zero minus one is negative one. Negative one cubed is negative one. So negative one times negative two thirds is plus two thirds. And then when we plug in zero here, we're gonna get minus six over pi and then the sine of zero. Okay, so I do know that the sine of pi and the sine of zero are both zero because I have the unit circle memorized. So I know those drop out. So really at this point I just have 16 and then it's minus two thirds, minus two thirds. So minus four thirds, you could actually leave that, but I'm gonna simplify it to 44 thirds. Okay, so that was part A. Uh, part B is uh, we're told the region R is the base of a solid. So for the solid at each X, the cross section perpendicular to the X axis has area A of X, which is one over X plus three. So they're telling us the area of the cross section um, and we want to find the volume of the solid. So in general, to find the volume of the solid, we just want to integrate the area of the cross section. So all we're going to get from R really is the bounds for our integral. So the volume is going to be the integral from zero to two of A of X DX. And uh, let's substitute. There's actually a lot of like doing calculus on this exam, which is uh, kind of unusual. I mean, recently it's been more common, uh, but usually this was a calculator question. So I need to find antiderivative of one over x plus three. That's a perfect u substitution. Um, or I just have it memorized. Uh, there's nothing to balance out. So it's the natural log of, uh, you gotta put absolute values around this, the absolute value of x plus three. Um, and then we're going to evaluate from zero to two. The absolute value won't end up mattering in this case because we get all positives. So this is gonna be natural log of, when you plug in two, you get the natural log of five. Minus, when you plug in zero, you get the natural log of three. You could leave your answer there, but I like combining logs. So I'm gonna write uh, equals the natural log of five over three. And I'm gonna leave it there. 
All right, let's take a look at part C. Part C is write, but do not evaluate, which is awesome. An integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line Y equals six. So the first thing I think we should do is figure out um, where Y equals six is. So if you look at that quadratic, its vertex is actually at one six. So there's your horizontal line, that's Y equals six. And then uh, I kind of need to know which function's which, so I'm just gonna label them. So that was our quadratic, which means that this is uh, our cosine graph. And then what I like to do is I like to put in a big radius that's gonna rotate and a little radius. So the big radius goes from the horizontal line out to g of x, so it goes all the way there. The little radius is gonna go from uh, the horizontal line to, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm about to get this wrong. Uh, it goes to from the horizontal line just to h of x, so that was definitely wrong, so uh, I'm gonna delete that, uh, and maybe I'll, I'll try to put it in right now. Here we go, so it goes from here to here. It's like a very tiny line. Okay, so the bigger radius that we're gonna get goes all the way from the axis, which is six, down to g of x, and the axis is above, so I'm gonna say that that is six minus g of x. And then the smaller radius goes from the axis all the way to h of x. So that's gonna be the little radius. So that's gonna be six minus h of x. Okay, so now we want to write our volume. So volume is gonna be pi times the integral of big R squared minus little r squared. So it's gonna be pi, don't forget that, the integral from zero to two of our big radius is six minus g of x. So the quantity is six minus g of x and then you gotta square that minus the quantity, our little radius, which is six minus h of x, and we have to square that, and then close some parentheses and put a dx, and there you go, that's the volume. We don't have to evaluate it, so we're done with that. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.